Hey Avery. About to go to bed. I'm in a pretty terrible mood. I just kind of feel like shit. Um, nothing to worry about, of course, because that's usually how I feel right before I go to bed. I just kind of feel feel like shit. Um, I'm just going to take a episode to just walk around and look at everything. Ooh. Don't walk there. <laughs> Watch your step. So this second floor doesn't really have a whole, much, whole lot going on. There's like, let's see, King doing, doing stuff. He's having fun. That's pretty cool. Um, yeah, the path that's going to lead to the massive storage room for dirt. It's all going to be cobblestone in the floor. This is going to be such a massive room. <laughs> the street lights over there. They look so ridiculous. The first floor, I kind of like how the first floor's layout is. With these different hallways. This is amount of cobblestone. This looks weird. Oh, you can right click to harvest it without breaking it? I didn't know that. The fuck? That's crazy, I didn't know that shit. And this goes back into this room. Oh yeah, this window is here. This is such a like... A room I neglect. I just don't pay attention to it at all. If King ever finds his way in here, he's never coming out. <laughs> it's way too deep. He's just gonna swim down there and never find the way out. Is it one, two, three, four? Four chests of sugar cane. Leads to this, which I started working on. Like this, I haven't used the stairway in a while, but I'm glad it's here. Um, maybe I have used it. I just don't remember. I was gonna use like a similar setup with the stairs, I think. Much I like that. I feel like I want to move this over so that I can put a pressure plate by the door. This is a cool little room though. Even though the axolotl AI is kind of troll and just doesn't care. Is there anything new in here? There's a bunch of new stuff. Or not. Okay. Sea lantern. Jesus. This takes so many materials. These shards are dropped from killing the guardians. Maybe both are dropped from killing guardians? I don't remember. Mossy stone slab. I want to make this and start writing things. I also want to use slabs and builds. They're pretty cool. Tinted glass. I don't remember how tinted glass works. Banner. But with chest. <laughs> Carpet. Carpet could be good. I did find my first Nautilus shell. Don't know what the fuck this is, respawn anchor. Is that like if you die? Does it do exactly what it says? Do you, you respawn? Granite wall. Would that look better on the street sign? Perhaps. Maybe one day I'll update it. Glistening melon. Glistering melon slice. Is that in the spreadsheet? Glister. Blistering melon slice, yeah. Yeah, fair enough. I've literally never made that. I don't know what it does. I assume it's for potions. Something table I made. Stone cutter, yeah, okay. Fungus on a stick and a carrot on a stick. Need a saddle to use either of those. Not really useful to me at all. 
I have made I've made these before. Ooh, lantern. Ooh, that's a rough that's a rough crafting recipe. It's like an iron bar. One iron ingot per lantern, basically. Ooh, that's rough. Tripwire hook. Ooh. Ooh, I kinda wanna make one up. That's a really simple crafting recipe. Um, I'll have to keep that in mind. Like, like a shooting range somewhere. I also need to make this... Whatever these are not like lifeblood for my entire playthrough. That would be something I'd consider. Uh, okay, so this... Does this just go... Yeah, this just goes up here. That's pretty cool. What's up here? dead end. Not quite. It's an area I never go. The land is looks a lot more developed. The grass over there still needs to grow, which is fine. The sidewalks re look really cool. I like the sideways one. Is there a lookout on this side as well? So we can see, oh my god. This sidewalk over here is crazy. <laughs> Goes off into the distance. You can only see the first six. I think there were like 14 lights. That's interesting, what the fuck? Are you? Not interested in you breaking my glass. Thank you for level 30, though. I appreciate it. A lot. Alright, then. There's a, there's a way up there. It's just like... In a room I never go to. Yeah, the cobble shed really needs work. It's... Just a little too... Bare bones. Why would I ever come up here? No, oh, that was just here. It's like so. It's like the Winchester house. Where does this go? Okay, this goes into this room. Does this even lead anywhere? I don't know what kings do. It's to a single platform that leads nowhere. Lovely. Wasn't feeling very inspired with that one. Yeah, the only way to come up here is that ladder. Will King ever come up here? He might. But uh, Axolotl AI does not know how to swim very high up for some reason. Just kind of goes in a circle down at the bottom. Yeah, the lack of torches up here. And over there. Kind of a problem. Even better view, though. All that sand's got to go. Yeah, I could do some cool shit over there. Definitely could put the chickens, see how they're not even loaded in their own pen right now. I could definitely make this like a huge chicken pen over there. Like the second, uh, I think it would have to make it so that if I was standing in the far, farthest edge here, or on the, the bridge here, call it a bridge or it's more like a sidewalk, but like, if I was standing in the very edge of the sidewalk, the chickens over here would have to not load. So I don't want any interaction with the sheep pen to interact with the chicken pen. I want the chickens to be completely unloaded while I'm doing anything with the sheep. You can see the second floor there, and that's going to be another equal distance to the next, and then that's going to be the third floor. And it's just going to go up and keep going up. And I might build a mob farm on the other side here. What am I looking towards? Uh, I'm looking north, so north. 
over there, north what north northwards, probably very high up. I'm gonna probably try to build a, a mob farmer so that we can get some good XP going. This house is already bigger than the house I made in 2011 by multiple times. It has many ways to access a bunch of different areas up there that I don't need to get to at all. But this is a good start. This is a good start branching out from that first floor, having all these other chests. A lot of the chests down here are... It's like blocks. That is a lot of dirt. That should be enough. Enough to finish what I'm trying to do. Maybe. I don't know, it would have to be really far away somewhere, but maybe I could put the pig farm somewhere else too, but I think it would make more sense to have it over there. But I just like... I'd like everything to be unloaded while I'm interacting with the sheep, because this is... I can't really understate it enough. This is going to be just the one layer. This is just white. Second layer, black. Next layer. It's like all the same size. There's going to be sheep stacked upwards forever until I run out of colors. And I don't want anything other than the sheep in those pens to be loaded. I want the maximum amount of frames per second from the sheep that I can get. Because I want to make like some Yu-Gi-Oh cards. I want to make some like hentai or some shit. <laughs> Whatever I can do without getting banned. I mean, not actual hentai, but like, whatever. Lewd artwork, let's say. It shows nothing. The image I'm thinking of shows nothing. It's just like a furry picture of Latias. I want to make like a regular picture of Latias too. And the Blue Rescue Team portrait of Latias. That'd be really cute. It's this way to tag sheep and chickens this way. Weird. Nice. I'm like walking down the sidewalk in my land. Bunch of birthday candles. Gotta replace those with our new up-to-date street lights. Got the grand church tower. This thing is cool. This thing is real freaking cool. I could have a block in the center, I guess that just like on each floor have a block right here so there's no chance you fall all the way down because that is not the top that is the clouds I also need a lot of a lot more glowstone for this build not really a whole lot more to tour or look at there's just like a million freaking sugar cane and some wheat and these two tiny farms here and these two tiny farms here. These farms aren't that tiny, but these two are. The, the melon and pumpkin farms are very small, let's say. Yeah, the new lights seem like they work extremely well. I'm gonna need more lights here. Um, yeah, and then there's the sugar cane, which it's just, there's so much sugarcane. It's such a pain to harvest because of Minecraft's shitty inventory systems. As fun as Minecraft is, it is such a flawed game. Okay, with the new torch over here, this has definitely grown, but it's not mature. Similar to the other ones. I don't know why that happens. And this is going to be wheat. It's like an extra two layers because it's random. And then potato farm, beetroot whenever I get it, and then whenever I have the dirt in my inventory, that'll be finished. And then I was going to do a few other things here. Let's see if we can go fishing with this Unbreaking 2 thing. What are these water particles? Shit is weird. Is there anything in the ocean worth catching? He used to just watch the bobber and eventually would go down. I don't know what these particles are. That's completely new. Why is it bubbling? Does that mean there's something? 